Sérgio Couto. Your phone number, please? 07UQ. Uh, sorry, so whereabouts is the pest control going to be? They're uh, going to be in two different farms, it's two different jobs, uh, but uh, at the moment I'll be at... Uh, um, on one, it's mainly going to be foxes. The other one was a, a deer with a broken leg on the ground, so I'm going to try... Okay, and your home address, please. It's eight. Right. I'll just give you a reference number, so if you can just get one call when you're done for it. Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Right. Uh, it's going to be 3524. 3524. Okay, thank you very much, sir. All right. Cheers, thank you. All right, how are you going? Thanks, man. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Ready to go. So, the broken leg buck, huh? It's, it's crazy the amount of punishment these beasts can take. It amazes me and I never could stop being amazed by that, that fantastic animal. Um, or wildlife, by not just this one, you know. Once, once I shot a buck that had a broken skull before, and was healed. The full antler was sideways. When I clean the head and look inside, you could see the cracks that have must have been hit by a car big time how come that animal survived was beyond me and liking deer the way i like deer and i like them you know i always be someone that roots for the for the weaker i suppose for the underdog if a team was playing i will if i will turn on the tv and one was behind i'll like that one to win it's crazy isn't it but anyway we are all different we are all the same i suppose but uh, when I, the first time I saw the, the footage, I thought, Jesus, I thought he was going to be dead. I thought I was going to find him the carcass somewhere in the trees. But and then when I saw him again five weeks later, I thought, Jesus, he made it. Because he was not alone, he was with the doe at the time. And he was following the doe. He was just wherever she was, she, she was going after her. She was hopping fences and stuff like that. She, and then I saw him again. Every time I saw him, I was never with a rifle with me. And the third time I saw him, when I made a video with him crossing a little piece of grass, I had a rifle with me, but it was not zeroed. I just had put an, a scope on it to try out, so I was going, actually, to go in zero the rifle. Um, so, so, in a sense, he was lucky. Um, but uh, it's nice to have different opinions. To know that when you put something like that on social media, it's funny that you know it's why it's why it's it's it's, it's, it's true. You know, opinions are like asses. Everybody have their own. You know, to, uh, what is right? Should he be dead on a spot? Why shouldn't he have the chance to to heal? You know, meat itself would be even better. You know, the no going to be have infection. The book is there, by the way. The meat itself, I don't know. What you what what you do with an animal like that? I'm not asking you what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. But I'm asking you what you do with an with animal like that. Would it be fever? Do you consider about that? Would it be infection? If you want to do with the meat, you go take it to the game dealer. To, do you process it? You eat it? You give it to the neighbor that you don't like? You give it to the, the family member that you like? What do you do with that? That was always a, a dead animal. Uh, I knew I was going to take it. That's an emotional line of work, I suppose. If you really like the deer, you want them to make it. You want deer to, to thrive. I have no pleasure whatsoever. I love the chase. I love the chase. I don't like this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's difficult. Am I in the, in, in, the, in the wrong job? Maybe I am. But it's, it's, I love it. I absolutely love it. But the chase to me is the most important thing. So enough. Many, many, many times that I do the stalking myself, uh, I go out with my single shot and do the stalking, get close, and then don't take a shot. Because I've done what I, I wanted to do. And 
again, but if there's a job to be done, that's different. I have a job to be done. If I'm protecting something, as I mentioned, in this place here, I have no need to, to protect nothing. There was nothing that was damaging. There's no... Yes, we are in a young plantation here, a small plantation. But the trees are not properly protected. So what made me hold to the trigger was the time. Time was important. The time that he first appeared on the camera and then the time I saw him again and then and again and again. So that played, it was always a dead year if you stay in my ground. But it has to be right, has to be at the right time. I was not just going to rush home, get the gun because I saw the air limping. Nah. Nah. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Are you right? Are you wrong? I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's the way it is. You know? It's it's I see I see the world the world I see is from my eyes. The guilty I feel is my guilt. The, the, the challenge I see are my challenges. Am I right? Am I wrong? I saw a lot worse than that. I knew that he was going to stay around, I was going to shoot it. It would be on my terms. That's it now. Now it's only work. Now it's only work. Hello, good evening. Can I give you a number, please? Of course, yeah. It will be 3524. Okay. And what's your name, please? Sergio Cotto. And the best contact number for you? Oh, Is this for a plan shoot this evening? Yes, that's it. Just to let you know that I'm finished. I'm back You're home. You're finished. Perfect. I'll put an update on there just now and let the officers know. All right? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And just like that.